Good morning and happy Saturday. I'm videoing on my phone today instead of going live because I'm going to try to post this on my new Instagram channel. So I'm excited to see how that works out. Jennifer, we'll see here. I am uh, your local neighborhood Avon representative and I am getting ready for date day with my husband. My little one was sick yesterday and so I didn't know if we were going to get to go and then it snowed last night. I think the roads are clear and we are going to have a date day. So pretty excited. My amazing Avon team um, bought us um, a gift card for a couple's um, massage and money for dinner. So we're excited. I'm going to get started with my routine. I've already done my morning uh, skincare regimen, which is Skinvincible. My deep puffing eye serum. This stuff is number one in Marie Claire and amazing. I'm seeing a huge difference. Um, also did my a new hydrofusion serum. Um, underneath I did this first, and then I did the deep puffing, and then I did the um, skin vincible. Of course, after I washed my face with Bicular water. This stuff is cool. So you don't have to rinse it off. So you put it on like your pad and then you you just clean your face and you don't have to wash it off. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to get started with my regimen, um, which is Magic's Face Perfector Primer. If you are not already using a primer, um, I highly recommend that you try ours. It runs um, usually between $7.99 and $9.99. And it's compared... To uh, the Smashbox primer, which is like 30 bucks. It's like really expensive. So uh, I am very impressed with it. And primer seems to make your makeup last longer. Uh, I'm using a cream to powder um, this morning. I got a new one out. Yay. It is light beige. So, um, oh, I got this cool new thing I'm going to try. So this is a Wonder Jelly Gel Blending Sponge. It's the cool, it kind of looks like um, fake silicone breasts. <laughs> it's like, okay, anyway, so you're supposed to use it. I'm going to try it. Let's see how this works. Okay, so I'm rubbing it on my cream to powder, and then I'm going to, it feels, excuse the man getting onto the dog in the background. This feels different to say the least. I'm not sure I'm getting coverage at all. I don't know. I don't even know if I'm using it right. This is different. It feels like slimy. I don't know what I think. Uh, okay. I think we're going to go with the regular old sponge because, well, it's what I know. And I know I can get the coverage that I want. The wind is blowing horribly. In our area, so... They say that the roads are clear. Let's hope, because we've got about a 45 minute to an hour drive to where we're going. Okay, next, uh, after I got that foundation covering, gotta kinda make sure you're getting up in your hairline. Uh, we're gonna go in with primer, or er, primer, concealer. My um, face concealer here, or eye concealer, because even when I de-puff, I still have some eye stuff going on here, and uh, I really need to um, start using, I have some like dark circle corrector that I know works, and then I quit using it. So, I think I need to get that back out. Okay. So, I'm going in. I 
with my concealer here and okay I had to get a lighter shade of concealer because my other one was running out and I'm not sure this is gonna work out best for me so let's see what we can do to kind of blend this I'm gonna use my ring finger and I'm just gonna kind of pat it in that tends to blend and it doesn't hurt anything to go up a little bit in your eye area. Especially, it seems like as I've gotten older, even that area gets darker. So I'm going to kind of blend that in. I'll move a little bit of it to my nose. Maybe I'll even paint a little bit of it on my nose. Because I've got red action going on on my nose. There we go. So see how that... Blends really nicely. I'm just patting it in. Okay. Covering up some darkness. Okay. So, next, we are going to paint on some eyebrows. I don't normally do this on my 15-minute mommy look because, well, I don't really care during the day if I have eyebrows drawn on. But since I'm going on a date day, I'm going to care today. Okay. I'm just getting a makeup wipe. Sometimes I get stuff all over me. Sorry about that. Okay. I don't know, guys. Like, that felt really weird. Okay. This is not an Avon product. This is an area that we are still developing. Um, and we have some brow liners. I haven't found one that matches exactly the way I want it to, so... We're going to go in. Okay. Sorry. I know this is itching. All right. So I'm going. Helps to not have the plastic on the thing. You think this is the first time I've done this. Okay. So I'm going to draw in just a shape here. And then I'm just going to kind of fill in. I want those to look we do have a, an eyeliner that's a glimmer stick that works well I'm actually out of my shade right now so I need to um, to get it do you see the difference like I just drew in that kind of a and my eyes are eyebrows are pretty thick anyway I just have a few spots like where I went under a teeter-totter on a swing set when I was young. And so it like, I had to have stitches and it scarred me. So I have one big gap on the left side. I'm just gonna go in a little bit more on that. Okay, so do you see how it just, um, it just fills them in a little bit. Makes them a little bit bolder. So since I'm going to be out with my man, I just wanted to have a little bit of a bolder look on my eyebrows today. So that turned out good. Okay, next we're going to go in with our loose powder. So I normally do not get dressed with my clothes on. And so I don't have to do this. But since I have my clothes on today, I'm going to cover myself. Huh. How about that? Okay. So I put my loose powder into my lid and I'm just going to brush it on like so. No, I'm not being violent with my face. Somebody asked me the other day if I was being violent with my face. I'm just lightly brushing it on. And what that does is it mattifies. It also helps to kind of blend your foundation in um, and it mattifies your foundation. I think it makes my, um, I don't know why my nose is itching so bad today. It, um, maybe somebody's talking about me. It mattifies it and makes it last longer to me. That's, I mean, I could, you could go out for the day just like this. Next, I'm gonna go in with my blush. Got my blush brush and I'm just gonna do a couple swaps. I'm going up from the cheekbone up 
to the hairline like so. I'm going to take the stifling part and I'm just going to go underneath that cheekbone just to do a little bit of defining. And then, oh, I forgot I have, oh, I didn't do any um, contouring. That's okay. I have this new compact that I just got um, for Christmas. It's Avon. And it has all of these eye colors. So since I'm wearing a gray today, I thought, mm, I'm going to try something a little bit different. Um, and most of these eye colors, there's another part that comes out here. Most of these eye colors are also, oh, it has blush. Look at that. Okay. Most of these eye colors come in all of our quads. And so you can get them um, in different, okay, hold on. Okay, somebody must be talking about me. You can get them in different, um, like four packs, four to a pack. And I can help you match up the colors that you want if y'all want to try some of our quads. So I'm going to go in first with a light color. I think I'm going to go in with like a silver. So I'm picking this color right here. It's kind of a light gray silver. I'm just going to do that as my base color. Okay, so I think my boys just went outside to play in the snow. I heard, um, I hope that they did not take Lucas, who has strep. That would not be cool. Okay, so there is that. A little bit of a, I put a little bit extra. I may end up having to blend because I'm going to go... A little bit darker today than I normally do. I'm going to take my crease brush. Um, and I'm going to go with this. I'm going to show you. This darker gray here. Can y'all see that? Okay. So I'm going to start in the middle. And bring it out. Oh, that looks good. You know, since I've got pink in my sweater today, I could even uh, bring in a little bit of the pink and blend it in. You don't necessarily have to match your colors to the clothes that you're wearing, but if you've got a large palette that you're doing, you might as well make it blend. So I'm just going kind of back and forth. Just back and forth a little bit. This side now looks a little bit darker than this side, so I'm gonna even that up. Okay, I do think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the pink. Um, we'll use this pink up here. And I'm just gonna do that on my lids. That looks cool. Oh, yay, my husband found my glasses. You're the best husband in the whole world. Thank you. Would y'all like to see where they're no, at? No, don't. We'll see where they're, don't. they're in the sack. Stop. I'll get them out in a minute. Thank you so much. That is fabulous. So this, is, this is what you left me in the kitchen for. Uh-huh, I'm getting ready. Clean up and then you're in here. I'm getting ready for our date night. Not, I'm not talking on the phone. Okay. Then I'm going to just take that original base color that I started with, and I'm just going to blend a little bit. There. It looks good. I love not having to um, rush. Okay. That's the eye look. Now, let's do our eyeliner. But they have these videos um, on here that... Like the woman is doing her makeup and her husband is walking them through what she's doing. This is an on point eyeliner and I love it. Do you think that's something that you would be up for? Nope. You don't want to walk them through my products and tell them what I'm doing? My problem is that one is. Uh huh. 
I'm already at work by the time you're putting your makeup on. That is true, but like tomorrow when we get ready for church, you I'll could probably totally... probably like I was this morning in the kitchen. Uh, cleaning. Working, uh, cleaning up and all that good stuff while you're making yourself beautiful. I don't know if y'all have seen that picture that I posted this morning of my husband. He's amazing. He's the cook. He is the cook of our family, and he is amazing at it. He made pancakes and scrambled eggs and um, bacon. Bacon this morning. So now I'm going in and I'm curling the brows or curling the lashes, make them perk up just a little bit for my date day with somebody who's apparently not very date. happy with me. Date, date, not a date. date day, day date. Is it a date day or a day date? Okay. Going in with Love Mascara. It is paraben free, toxin free. It's got volumizing vitamin E oil in it. It is thebalm.com. Thebalm.com is 90s, sorry. So there's one coat. What is today? I'm slaying or I'm killing. Is that what your niece told me? That she's um, queen. I'm queen. That's it. Okay. Excuse the humming. That's my husband not shaving his face. So I'd like to know in the comments, what is your vote? Do you like a man with a beard or a man without a beard? Not that it will matter, but I'm just wondering if I'm alone. I know that I have several friends that love the beard look. So, okay. Got our mascara on, and we are slaying our queen or whatever those words are. I have um, a champagne bronzing stick, illuminating stick. This stuff is cool. So, you can do just a little bit right above your Cupid's bow here. And it makes your um, lips look a little bit um, fuller. And then just do a little bit here to kind of illuminate the middle. And then you can do just a little bit on the top of your cheekbones. Then you want to kind of rub it in. And what it does is it actually pulls the light to different areas of your face. And whenever you can see it, I'll take a, a picture when I get done. Um, so you can kind of see how it just reflects the light. Can you see the difference? It's so pretty. I love the glow. Love, love the glow. Okay. So, since we have all of these cool... Oh, no. We're going to go with lip paint today. We are going to finalize our look today with Pout Lip Paint. Quaint is the color. So, this is a nude... Mm, not quite what I thought I was getting. Mm. I think we need a little bit of pink, right? Let's do a little cocktail. We'll mix a little bit of the spring, what is it, spring lilac in. Hmm. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Okay, guys. Well, thanks for getting ready with me. I'm going to go finish up so that I can get out for our day date. And I'll do a final picture to let you guys see the finished look. Everybody have a great Saturday. We'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.